be as a whole is going to go on for quite a while. I'd say another nine months, six, nine, ten months before we really see it going, unless something happens really good and we get a lot of good vaccination out there. Since the hepatitis A outbreak started 10 months ago, there have been nearly 1,100 reported cases of the virus and eight deaths in Kentucky. 540 cases and four of the eight deaths are in Louisville. Majority of our cases have risk factors of either homelessness, unstable housing, or recreational drug use. But recently, we're seeing a growing number of cases in people with no risk factors. Public health officials have been targeting those at-risk communities. Louisville has had a lot of uh, success through a number of different uh, avenues. One is uh, the syringe access program, being able to offer vaccination through that. Another is through corrections. They work for several months to get uh, correction staff trained and get vaccine available so that they can vaccinate in the, in the jail. Officials say in Kentucky, the virus is being passed from person to person and not by food or drink. Public health officials have been in close contact with local restaurant associations to get employees vaccinated. I want to emphasize again that the risk of catching hepatitis A from an infected food worker is extraordinarily low. The CDC sent a team to Louisville in early February. They said the city has set the gold standard for responding to the outbreak. The lead of that team had been to Michigan and California and Utah for all of their outbreaks and they said Louisville was the most organized and had the best response ever they had seen so far. So they are really setting the stage for the rest of the country. And the health department is still administering free vaccines to those without health insurance. In downtown Louisville, Carrie Grace, WLKY News.